Well, welcome back, my fantastic artistic numismatic friends. Today we're going to paint a picture which resembles a £2 coin, so see if you can guess what it is before we finish the painting. Now, this canvas is an unusual shape. It's circular. It's about dinner plate size. It came white and pre-primed, but I've, I've primed it again in black acrylic primer. Allowed that to dry completely, then I've coated the whole thing in a mixture of alizarin crimson and sap green, and that would give a, uh, a nice grey tone to the canvas. That's in oil paints, so when the oil paints are still wet, then I can hit the canvas with white paint, as you can see what we're doing here, and we're making some nice little clouds. As we're doing that, I'll also be answering uh, several questions from the 750 subscriber giveaway way back when, uh, just to throw it in there and, uh, and, and, and mix things up a little bit. But yeah, if you know what this uh, painting is going to be, you probably can guess it from, from the thumbnail. Let me know down in the comments. Leave me a comment. Big, big capital letters of what you think this £2 coin could be. We did one before, didn't we? Uh, the Great Fire of London. And if you liked that one, or if you haven't seen that one, should I say, go check it out. I'll put a little bit of a, a do for you do up in the top corner. But while we're getting on with the painting, I'm going to take a couple of questions. First one is from uh, Roger O'Neill. And... Uh, and he says, do you ever paint real locations or are they always from your imagination? 90% of the time are from my imagination. I just have a, a certain time of day, a certain time of year and um, what I'd like to put in there, whether it be a, a mountain or a fire or, or, or you know, whatever tree. Um, but, 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 but on the 10% of the times where I have decided to paint real locations, I find them quite quite refreshing really in a way uh, it's, it's, it, that would be my interpretation of uh, of that place and some of the better paintings I've done are of real places where people can can relate to but uh, yeah so it's about 90 to you know imagination especially um, especially one that's come you know, that you probably saw last week should I say the um, the, the space painting <laughs> Okay, great question, Rog. Okay, so um, what we're doing here is now we're having a little bit of pale colour, pale yellow colour in the in the night sky. And I don't want to give too much away as we're painting. And we're just dusting that out with a nice dry, large dry brush. So it looks like something's illuminating the sky. Great stuff. And fantastic news, folks. We hit the 1,000 subscriber mark. It's been all over the social medias. Um, lots of people have congratulated me. And we're just... We're going from strength to strength. It's crazy. It really is crazy. And I, 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 again, I thank everybody that's come over, that's recently joined the channel, that, that's been long-term subscribers, all the support from all the fantastic friends out there, the, the vast wealth of knowledge that that they have to offer, it's just brilliant, I, I really enjoy it, and again, thank you from the bottom of my heart, and um, if a giveaway isn't up yet, it, there is one very, very soon, a, a fantastic giveaway, it may uh, it may already be up, I'm, I'm not too sure when this, when this, <laughs> when this painting will go out, but right, we'll, we'll crack on with a, another question as we're tickling the sky there, and this question would be from Dennis Fitzpatrick. My question is, Tyson or Ali? So I believe that's a boxing question. Um, oh, they're a very good fight. Both of them excellent, excellent heavyweight boxers. Both of them champions. I was fascinated by, by Mike Tyson as a child. Watching, watching Mike Tyson fight, you know, on, on TV. It was just something else because he was only a very short guy. Uh, but he could hit like a, uh, you know, like a freight train coming at you. Um, a little bit too young to to remember any of Ali's fights, but from what I've seen, I believe Ali was what an absolute immense fighter, the greatest. <laughs> I believe he was. So um, it's, that would be a tough one. It, it all depends on who has the Weetabix that morning. I think on that one. <laughs> Well, fantastic question, Dennis. Thank you for that. Right, on the palette knife. We've got the palette knife, and all we're doing is we've just 
scraped off a little bit of, of titanium white paint from straight from the palette and here and there and there and here we're just touching the canvas ever so lightly and you can probably guess what this is it's this it's the sea isn't it? it's water it's 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 illuminated the ripples on the uh, on, on on some sort of body of water just like so very gently just let the canvas take off what it wants leave us with the rest and then we can move on to a different part of the painting and then again with the dry brush just very gently caress that no pressure at all zero pressure at all and that will bring everything together and we can come back in with a different color i think we'll have a little bit of blue on there as well just to just to tickle up the tickle up some of these waves so a tiny little bit of blue this is this is french ultramarine blue and it mix it with a tiny bit of white as well just to just to pale the, the blue off a little bit and we can put a few variants of color in there as well great stuff all right so so jeffrey reynolds he he asks a question if i had chance to design a coin what would you put on it and that's quite a good question since we're painting a coin design in in today's in, in this week's painting uh, and it's one that i've given a fair bit of thought to as well over the last few weeks because it's not just a question i get asked it's i suppose every coin collector every coin tuber gets asked that and um, i would like a coin to commemorate the coin collecting uh, community um, the coin tube of us um, maybe not so much uh, any individuals on coin but but but, but uh, you know like um, the whole group of of, uh, of of what it represents from from subscribers to youtube channels to to people going out and collecting in change so so basically uh, a coin to commemorate coin collectors i suppose is what i'm saying and with the birth of the of the coin tubiverse and the, the the coin collecting communities out there that that's obviously sparked a lot more interest from from the royal mint because they're producing a lot more coins now for for collectors to keep so so something back to coin collectors i think if that makes sense um, i'm not sure if it does or not but i've got it all planned out in my own head <laughs> But yeah, a fantastic question. Right, let's get back to the painting. I'm sure, I'm sure, ninety percent of you will know now what I'm actually trying to achieve with this painting. And it's a, uh, it's obviously a little lighthouse. So we've got what eight minutes in, and uh, we're starting to work on this little lighthouse. So if you guessed it correctly and you've already written it down, what it is, ten points to you guys. It's it's based on the um, the uh, the coin Trinity House, which was um, I, think, I think the edge inscription was serving the mariner. It, it's it, it as its um, it has its origins in in lighthouses and, and and keeping the the seafaring folk safe, so they um, they don't crash into the rocks at night time and 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 into the uh, and into the country itself. From the sea. Right, let's have another question from uh, from ah oh, yes, the legendary Robert Roberts. He is um, he's another guy who's been with the channel from day one, and uh, always has nice kind words to say. And in this comment, he said, uh, "Do you do you collect silver coins? And if so, what was your first silver coin?" And then uh, he also says some very kind words as well so thanks for that robert now i don't actually go out there and collect silver coins as such i do have a nice healthy collection of silvers some silver coins um i've got a couple of ounce silver coins. i think i've got about 15 or so silver ounce coins from like britannia's and and some from like australia and new zealand and, and they're on past videos so I'll, I'll put a little bit of a link up somewhere in the top corner for, for people to see that um I've got a couple of silver 50p's as well 
I, I got a silver Brexit coin for, for my birthday last year and I uh, got a silver Flopsy Bunny for Christmas, I think, once, you, you know. Um, but I don't really go out my way to collect silver coins. They, they, they are premium and, and they can be quite expensive, so I, I try and shy away from anything like that. Uh, at the moment, who knows in future, <laughs> of course, I'd like to spend more and more money on, on, on more coins, but... Uh, but yeah, fantastic question, Roberts. Uh, Robert, Roberts. So thank you for that. Right, with a dry palette knife, all we're doing is just using the very tip and we're just scraping in. You can hardly see that. We're just scraping in what would look like a, a mesh, or, 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 you know, like diamond shaped uh, glass. And you won't see it all, you'll just get a few little indications there. Just so you can, uh, just so you can pick out the glass of the lighthouse. And how simple was this lighthouse to produce? It, 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 it the simplest painting seemed to me to be the most, um, the most desirable ones, the the most striking ones. This 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 painting would look absolutely immense in in a, in a nice little, uh, you, you know caravan by the coast or a little holiday home or something like that i'll have to keep an eye on this i can i can imagine uh, <laughs> my mum wanting this one for her caravan and then telling all her friends at her caravan club and then they wanting copies of it so <laughs> i can see me being quite busy with these kind of seascapes but they are i i do enjoy them and this does look like a couple of lighthouses um that are familiar to me on the on the on the coast of Yorkshire. And if you know of a lighthouse near you that, that looks like this or that you visited as a kid, just, just let me know what it is in, down in the description. Maybe you've been to a lighthouse very similar to this. Maybe you're a lighthouse keeper, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I love these kind of paintings. They're so simple to do, but so striking. It's, 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 it's brilliant. I really enjoy, I really enjoy painting as a, it's a nice little pastime. I could get lost in, in painting these. We'll just put a little bit of bright red there, just here and there. You know, in daylight, this, this lighthouse may have been um, a nice white colour with a red stripe round the middle. But we'll sign this one. And if you've enjoyed this, please do the usual, folks. And until next time, take care of yourselves, stay safe, and as always, happy days. <laughs>